Hello, Gilberto. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Gilberto? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. Great. Mauricio. Hello, Mauricio. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Okay, it's so it's eight o'clock already, but let's see who else is going to join us today. Hello, Danny. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Did you have a problem yesterday, Danny, with your microphone or something? Because I remember I was trying to... Yes, yes teacher. Uh, um, I, I have a problem with my internet connection. It is, uh, uh, my, my screen in black. Ah, um, okay. In yes. the session. I remember that uh, I was uh, talking to you, but you wouldn't reply. But it looked like you had your microphone on. But it wasn't actually working, right? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. So it's good that you're back. Okay, let's see who else is here. We have Lady. Hello, Lady. Good evening. Hi, good evening. And Maria Leticia is here as well. Hello, Maria Leticia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, everyone, I think we're going to get started. I hope your classmates can join us soon. Well, um, I don't know if you, if any of you have a uh, checked the items that we had in the platform. I don't know if you had any question about that, if you had worked on them. We can take advantage of this time to ask any question. Let me go here. Mm -hmm. And open the platform. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how we're doing in terms of uh, progress. Well, I see, for example, Danny has been working up to homework two. 
Uh, let's see. Gilberto also up to homework two. Um, let me see. We have Israel, the first one only. Julio. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at just so you can see the reference that I'm providing. I don't know if this is sent to you a uh, weekly or not. Do you get your results weekly? No. No sé si les envían, bueno, no lo he visto en el chat, pero eh, con el programa que tenía, el grupo que yo tenía el módulo pasado, veía que sí les estaban compartiendo ahí los, sus avances. Ah, ahorita no lo he visto, no sé si se los envían a sus correos. O if we have to check it here. No, teacher. Fíjense que no nos mandan eso. Ok. Módulo. Lo único que dijeron hoy era que nos pusiéramos al día. Al día. Yes. Yo, hasta, yo hasta dudé de mí misma, será que no aparezco ahí. Dije. Yo Pero... también. <risa> o también me asusté. <risa> ah. <risa> Pero sí estoy, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo yes. me vi. <risa> Here, for example, we have Danny. I'm showing you the way I see it, ¿ok? We have Danny here. We have Gilberto. Uh, let me see. Andres needs to start working. Also, uh, Israel. Well, I have two Israels here. I don't know why. I think you had to. I don't know if you had to create a new username, if they created a new username for you. Okay, give me one second because this is, I, I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, so we start from, from the first homework. So here we have the first one, Dani, Gilberto, eh, Israel, Julio, Lady, Rodrigo, Maria Leticia, Mauricio, no sé quién es, RDSA. Rolando Danilo. Ah, ok. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have your initials? You should have your name. Rebeca, Roberto, uh, and Sofía. Mm -hmm. Everybody's here, right? I mean, from the people who, who are in, in the class not right now okay and then you can see what you have done so far and so let's see here okay thank you julio okay but basically this is how we're doing everybody let me see here. We have two pages. Okay, let's see. Um, this is one page. Let's look at the second page. Oh, here we have Jesenia. That's why we have two pages. Mm -hmm. So, it looks like Jesenia has already done everything according to this. But we, okay, uh, what we should be done with 
um, right now is this part, okay? One, two, three, and the average, because the midterm is for next, um, next week. But this is how we are doing. Okay, when you get your, um, I mean, when you do the task, you can also see how much you get, right? Um, the correct ones, the incorrect ones, and so on. So this is just for you to, to get an idea of how everybody's doing, right? How you are doing individually. Okay, well, um, so I wanted to start with that. Let's see who else is here today. We have Andres. Hello, Andres. We also have Rodrigo. And Rolando is a listener. Okay. Well, um, let's let's see what we're doing today, everybody. Today, we're going to continue discussing uh, marketing. As you know, this is the focus of unit two, marketing. And in this case, well, uh, before we, we do that, I'm going to ask you to take your self-assessment. Remember yesterday, we were discussing uh, all these elements for or all these tools, right, for each of the four Ps. What goes with product, what goes with price, what goes with place and promotion. Um, and here at the bottom, we have the self-assessment. So let's take one minute to, I, um, to analyze uh, your ability in order to describe the four Ps, okay? So... Now I can identify the main elements of the marketing mix of a renowned national product service. This is what we did yesterday. Like we spent like half of the class working as a group and then presenting for the whole class. So can you uh, identify the main elements of the marketing mix of a renowned national product or service? Can you do it independently? Okay, you can check. Or can you do it with occasional help? Or can you do it only with help? So let's take a minute to think about how we feel in terms of this um, objective, okay? Can you do it independently with occasional help or only with help? Okay, ready? Finished? Finished doing the self-assessment? Okay, thank you. Well, now we're going to focus on a, a different topic related to the same unit. And in this case, our objective is to analyze the components of the product and price and price strategies of a famous national product or service. Okay, so what is the focus? Price, right? Price. Um, okay, and I'm going to start by asking you these two questions. Okay, so I'm going to choose someone to help me answer the first question. The first question says, why is pricing important? or why is the price important? Um, or when we, when we say pricing, we are talking about the whole process of um, deciding 
which price you're going to your product is going to have right so that is pricing the whole process of giving the product a price so uh let's see andres why do you think pricing is important Andres, are you there? Or are you a listener right now? I'm sorry I didn't check. Okay, I guess he has he's a listener. Okay, let's ask um lady. Lady, why do you think pricing is important? Because uh, the person is difficult to pay for products or service. Okay. Because is I'm not sure I got it, but I'm going to try to repeat. You said because it's difficult for people to pay for products or services. Mm, I think that. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, what about, let me see. Okay, what about Maria Leticia? What do you think? Why is pricing important, Maria Leticia? The price is important mm -hmm. um, in the economy. And okay. the, the price of a product, no, the price of a product or service can influence consumer, consumers. Okay, can influence consumers. Yes. Thank you. Okay, and let's ask one more person. I'm going to ask, Um. let's see, Mauricio, what do you think? Okay, why is pricing important, teacher? Yes. Uh -huh. Well, uh, we need good prices because uh, the people have to know how much is going to pay for a product. Uh -huh. Aha. Okay. okay. People need to. Okay. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay, thank you. And now we have another question. What should you consider when setting the price of a product? What are some aspects that we need to consider when setting the price of a product? For example, let's say you are going to sell pupusas, right? And so what are, what are the aspects that you need to consider for you to decide if the pupusa is going to be 50 cents, eh, 60 cents, 75 cents, $1, $2, $3, <laughs> etc. right? So what should you consider when setting the price? And for this question, we're going to ask first, Rodrigo. Oh, you are a, a listener today. Okay, let's see somebody else. Gabriela. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi. What is the question is what you should consider when the setting the price yes. of product. Exactly, the second question. Um... I don't know. The René uh, say colorful enough or no? Uh, repeat, please, because I didn't get. 
what you said. Sorry, teacher, I don't uh, listen. Hello, hello, can you listen? Can you hear me? Hello. No, no. <laughs> no, nobody can hear me? Yes, no, no, yes. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So, were you saying that, the, like, the, I don't know, the appearance of the product? Because I, yes. I you mentioned something like color. Yes. Okay. Of the, of the, the color of the headphones. Okay, okay. Thank you. Let's see Julio. Julio wants to participate. Go ahead, Julio. Thank you, Tisha. Um, uh, for me, I consider uh, to set for, uh, for setting the price of, of a product, I consider uh, the cost of production and the uh, variable cost. Okay, the cost of the product and also the variety, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cost, cost of production. Ah, and, cost of production. Yeah. Yeah. and the last one, can you repeat? Sorry, Julio, I did Variable that. cost. Cost of variable. Ah, yes, yes. Uh -huh. var var variable cost. Variable cost. Variable costs. Okay. Okay, everybody. Julio just gave you a new um well actually two two terms. Yeah. I'm going to write them in the chat. Okay. So remember the more vocabulary we add to our list, the better. So we have the cost of production, right? Cost of production and variable cost okay variable costs so very good thank you julio um okay let's see if we have somebody else gilberto what do you think what yeah. other aspects should we consider when setting the price of a product okay teacher i consider the setting the price, the quality of the products, and the service, the product, uh, the customer. Uh huh. The the quality is is very important. The the price. Uh, I you, uh, I consider it is necessary. Good, good quality of the product and good service. Very good. Mm -hmm. So the quality of the product and also customer service. Yes. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to type it here in the chat. Product quality. And uh, you said customer service. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, so now that we have had the chance to discuss what we think, because remember, this is about what you think, your opinion, right? But uh, we're going to watch a video. The video is about eight minutes, but I'm going to... Um, I'm not going to have you watch the whole video, but just some key ideas on a pricing, okay? So let's watch the video and I need you to please uh, check if your opinions, for example, um, Gilberto's opinion, Julio's opinion, ladies' opinion, uh, Gabriela's opinion, Leticia's opinion, okay, is included in what they explain in the video, okay? And also, I would like you to take notes of some vocabulary that you will 
a check in the video and we can discuss it later, okay? So um, let's get ready to watch the video. Oh, but before we do that, I, I'm going to pass the attendance because I don't want it to, to forget. No queremos olvidar la asistencia. Así que, ahorita, before we get into the video. Okay. Let me see, let me see. Okay, here we are. Dani, Siguenza Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Here, teacher. Um, Jose Andres Martinez Perez. I, yeah, he's a listener. Um, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Are you a listener or not, Julio? You have listener in there, but you just participated, so I'm not sure. Julio? Can you say present, please? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see, Lady Joanna Hernandez Ventura. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz, he is a listener right now. Eh, Maria Leticia Ralejeño González. Present teacher. Eh, let's see, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Present teacher. Okay, Rebeca Mercardona Juárez. I don't see Rebeca here right now. Eh, Roberto Carlos Camens Alvarenga. I think he said he has an issue with the internet. Um, Rolando Danilo Sanchez Arteaga. He's a listener. Eh, Sofía Karina Crespo Martinez. She's not here right now. And... Um, well, I don't know if I mentioned Israel. I don't see Israel. He said he's a listener, but he's not here. Um, let's see the last one. Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, well, now let's start uh, watching the video. Remember, let's check for new vocabulary. Also, let's check uh, whether the opinions from our classmates uh, are related to uh, what we discussed, right? Uh, pricing, why is pricing important? What should we consider um, when setting the price? Okay, so let me... Okay, give me a second, I'm gonna share the screen. Okay, here we go. Please let me know if you can hear very well the video. Let me see. How to price a product. So, can you hear the video, the sound? Yes. Okay, very good. I'm going to activate the subtitles just so we don't get lost because the guy is speaking a little bit fast. Okay, so. Thank here we you. Mm -hmm. I got a great question from one of my YouTube viewers, Eduardo. Love you guys. And Eduardo wrote in to say, hi, Evan, I have a question for you. What happens if you found the product or service that people need and is extremely valuable, but are having a hard time deciding how much to charge people for? Thanks, Eduardo. So this is a great question and one that every entrepreneur has to go through when you're launching your product, your service. And I'm going to give you three tips. A lot of people will look at pricing based on your cost, right? You look at, well, it cost me $50 to make it, so I'm going to sell it for $100 and make this margin. It's the wrong way to look at it because 
you have to think about the value. First point is value. A customer cares about what value they're getting from it. If you're trying to sell me something, I don't care that it costs you 50 bucks. I may only look at it as a $40 product and that's the maximum that I'm gonna be able to spend on it. So your cost doesn't matter here for your pricing. Your pricing should look at the value that you're adding to your customer. How much value can you bring in there? The more value you're gonna add, the more money you're gonna make, the more you can charge for your product or service, okay? Business, the, one of the most important rules is adding value. You want to make a lot of money quickly, you need to add a lot of value to your customer quickly. So think about how you can add more value, how you can make your customers' lives easier, and what that time savings is worth to them, or what the extra bonus that they get from using your product or service is worth to them. Then that's how you figure what you're going to charge. Okay, so think about value added instead of a cost-based way of pricing your product. Okay. Number two is your audience. You have to understand who your audience is and what their budget is. And there's two ways that companies usually go. It's either going after low, low quantity, but high price ticket, or big quantity and low. ¿Cuál es el secreto detrás de la fórmula de Talentry? Combinamos inteligencia artificial con un equipo de especialistas en reclutamiento. Low price ticket. So you look at cars, okay? You have Ferrari, you have Honda. They're both selling cars, but they're selling to a different audience. Their audience have different budgets, and so they sell different vehicles to them. And it's not just about a different price point. It's a different car completely, right? When you buy a Ferrari versus a Honda Civic, you're getting a different car. Okay, It's not the same car, and they understand who their audience is and what their budget is. So if you're selling to Ferrari, those guys are spending tons of money on it, but they're getting still value for their dollars, right? They're they're buying it because they feel like they're still getting good value. Okay, let's see the second tip. And then when you buy a Honda Civic, it's a completely different audience. Direction you're going to go in. Do you want to work with a few clients who are paying you good money and that's how you're going to grow your business? Or do you want to hit a ton of people, mass market this thing, and that reflects having a lower price point for your product or service. Number three is stage of business. You have to think about what stage of business you're at right now. Are you a pure startup or do you already have a reputation of being established? Because there is a bias against startup entrepreneurs because it's riskier. It's riskier dealing with startups. As a customer, it's harder to deal with a startup entrepreneur than it is a more established business. Why? You look at, so I don't know what you're selling. Say you're selling machines or equipment. If I buy from you, I want to make sure that you're still around in five years. I need somebody who's going to maintain my stuff. If my machine breaks down, I want someone to come and fix it or give me a replacement. If I'm worried that you're just starting, you're not going to be around in five years, then it makes it riskier for me to buy from you. Say you're selling a service. If you're a consultant, as an example, I want to look at, well, who would you work with before? What other companies like me have you helped? If the answer is nobody, you're just getting started, then it's risky for me, right? I, I'm probably going to say no. It's harder for me to get to that yes because you don't have the track record. So no matter what you're selling, there is a bias against the pure startups because you don't have that track record of experience. It's riskier for me to work with you than somebody else. So typically you'll find that there's a, a price reduction that comes with startup entrepreneurs. So you start by having a lower price because you need to get your name out there. You need to get a portfolio. You need to get some traction, some momentum to show that everything you say works actually works, right? So you have a lower price point. And then as you get more experience, as you get better, as you can add more value and depth, demonstrate that you can increase your prices a big challenge though for a lot of entrepreneurs is we stay stuck at that low pricing too many entrepreneurs underprice themselves and what i want you to do is think about how can you start increasing your pricing okay you're adding a lot of value you're just not charging for and test it test working with a 10 percent increase and another 10 percent increase and see where you're starting to get pushback from your customers because a lot of times the customers who can't afford to pay that little boost in revenue those are not your ideal customers they're not your best clients they're the ones who give you the the hardest the hardest time they don't work for business to you they don't appreciate your value and you work to make them happy and they're never happy and they're not giving you a lot of money every entrepreneur almost can increase their prices and it will help their business so test it test it start working with more ideal clients if you're in the brand new startup stage, you don't have anything launched yet, then fine. It may even be free. 
just for you to get some experience and build up a portfolio, build up a client list, get people giving you testimonials, but then start increasing your prices. Don't be afraid to constantly check and test your pricing and see where you can increase it to the point where you're getting feedback from your customers saying, hey, this is our limit. One quick. Okay. Well, I think we were able to check, right? The tips that he was discussing. And well, so far he provided a uh, three tips and he mentioned some key, um, well, key words, key phrases that we can use with this topic. Okay, so let's see what you guys got. Well, first of all, what was the first tip that you got from, from him? What is something that is value? Aha, uh -huh. okay, value. So does that relate to in okay? Because some of you said that you need to pay attention to the cost, right? Uh, but is that well according to him? Because this is not about right or wrong, it's only according to uh, him, the, the guy in the video. Um, so in this case, he says that uh, it's about value, right? So how can we explain that part? What is What does value mean? Adding value to your product or adding value to the customer? Let's think about an example of how we can add value. Okay, imagine your product is shoes. How can you add value to your product for your customers? Um, the right. quality. Okay, the quality. Uh-huh, lady? Mm brand okay the brand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anything else teacher uh, yes, the, the mention the quality the, the products for example the car honda on car uh, the brands uh, are like the like como uh, Ferrari uh -huh. uh, very expensive uh, and mm -hmm. in compare con Honda que es very right. chic exactly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in this case, everybody, when we say add value to, to the customer or to your product for the customer, it's basically check what your customer wants, right? You need to check what your customer wants. Uh, for example, with this, the, the example of cars, well, um, do they want something just to use for the, their everyday life? or do they want to use it for as a luxury a object, right? Um, and well, maybe these cars, Honda and Ferrari may not be examples for everybody because of course not a Ferrari is not something everybody can buy, right? But imagine a pair of shoes, okay? In this case, of course, everybody wears shoes, different brands, different um, types, right? So when you add value to the cost to your product for the customer, it means that you offer something else, right? Something a little bit different from the competition. So that is a phrase that we get from the video. Okay, what else? What was other tip that we checked? Teacher, 
uh, and the value uh, is some audience. Oh, um, okay, the audience, yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, continue. Um, the, some, the season is wireless because uh, for the value the customer is mm -hmm. for me is the value is the product in the audience is the customer yes definitely mm -hmm. yes your audience is basically your customer mm -hmm. remember a uh, i think it was monday that we started talking about uh, the the marketing mix right and if you if you remember in the video we watched they were talking about target market right target market so in this case the audience is your target market right um are you selling to for example someone who who works um who has a professional job right are you selling to an um, to a I don't know, a, a, a person who has their own business, are you selling to some, to, uh, as I was telling you at that time, at that moment, I gave you some examples like, okay, is your product for older people, for young people, for kids, for teenagers, for a people who are at the university for people who are already working and they have their own money etc right so yes the second part is your audience or another sim another synonym is target market okay that is another term okay and the last one we we watched what was the other tip? A stage of business. Mm -hmm. Stage of business. Uh -huh. For example, what is a, when you start your company, how, what, what does, what is that called? He mentioned that a lot. Like the first stage of your company, what how is it called? When you start your company. Okay, here it is. And you can take notes. Remember the new vocabulary? Start up. Start up. Start up. Right? What happens when you are just starting your company? What do you need to do in terms of the price? Uh huh. Production calls, maybe? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so is the price at that moment, can the price at that moment be high? Can we put a high price when we are starting the business? Yes or no? Can you repeat, please? Sure. Okay, you are just starting the business, right? So can you put a high price when you start your business? I think that not. No, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is what he was explaining, that for startups, in other words, a company that is starting is not, okay to have a high price 
because nobody knows you, right? And for customers is risky, risky. Okay, it is risky to buy from you because they don't know, they don't have any reference, right? For example, when you go and buy shoes, like sport shoes, you can say, ah, Nike shoes are a good brand of shoes. Yes, everybody will say, yes, they are a good brand. So you already have a reference, right? But if, they, if you say, okay, ah, um, Pajarito shoes are a good brand of shoes. Nobody knows Pajarito shoes, right? So people are not going to trust or they don't want to risk losing their money, right? Because probably a, the new brand will not last as Nike shoes, right? So that is something that is also good to consider, right? If you are starting the company, don't put a high price because for customers is risky and nobody knows you. They don't have any reference about how good your product is, right? Okay, good. So the stage, so we have the three tips, right? Number one, the value. Number two, consider the audience. Number or three, target market or your target market thank you lady and the last one consider stage, also uh-huh they have a stage of business the stage of the business exactly Teacher, mm -hmm. many people buy only for the fame of the product that's true that is actually that is the other i will say the other extreme right when you are already positioned, when your brand is already positioned into the market and you have a certain reputation, um, we can say that these brands are like, they can lower the quality, right? But because everybody thinks, I was talking about Nike, right? So everybody thinks that Nike is good they are going to continue saying that Nike is good, but probably they lower the quality. And yes, that can happen too, lady. You are right. Sometimes people only uh, think about the brand, right? Um, even though in some cases, those brands can be lower quality, probably not as before, right? So that's a good a good thing to consider too. Okay, good. I'm going to give you some words here. For example, uh, we I heard this word underpriced in the video. What is underpriced? Also, we have pushback. Push back and okay. Right now, let's let's talk about these two. So, when a product is underpriced, what would be a synonym of underpriced? That is uh, too synonym of lower lower price. Exactly. Thank you, Gilberto. It's a synonym of lower price mm -hmm. so it's i i would say it's a very tricky situation right when you are putting the price for a product because you need to keep a balance right not too high but also not too low okay okay and the other one is pushback customer pushback I don't know if you were able to see this word in the video and if you got an idea of what it is, customer pushback.
or you can Google it and share the, the, the definition. Let's Google this word, pushback or customer pushback. Customer pushback. Decline, maybe? Mm, well, it could be. Uh -huh, because in this case, we are talking about the customers um let's say okay we're, we're talking about price right so uh, imagine that okay you start your product your product is five dollars but then as you go ahead with your business you start increasing the price maybe now it's not five dollars it is 550 and then you can you increase 575 and there is a point that you increase to $6. Maybe when you get to $6, customers start saying, no, this is too expensive. It used to be only $5. I'm not gonna buy it anymore. I'm going to buy from the competition because it's cheaper and probably is the same quality. So that is customer pushback. So yes, lady, there is a, a relation to decline because customers probably start buying from the competition, right? Uh, meaning that they don't want your price anymore because it's too, the increase has been too much for them. It's too expensive now. Like, I think yesterday we were talking about the pupusas in a famous restaurant in, in El Salvador. Uh oh. Okay. For a moment, creo que me había quedado congelada. Um, so we were talking about pupusas. For example, uh, there is a restaurant where they are like $3. Mm, maybe customers are, they are getting customer pushback for this, okay? Because here in El Salvador, we don't buy pupusas that are $3, right? The more expensive are like $1, but not $3. So it's an example, right? Of customer pushback. So I don't know if it's clear for everybody. Are we clear on that term? Yes. Okay. Clear. Clear. Teacher, I need them more explain me because I don't understand very well. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Another example could be, okay, you you are selling clothes, Gabby, Gabriela. Uh, imagine you are selling clothes. And usually uh, your clothes are, let's say $10. A blouse is $10, okay? Um, and then you say, mm, well, my customers like my, my clothes, the clothes I sell. So I'm going to increase maybe 50 cents. Well, your customers continue buying your clothes, right? 1050 is not a big difference. Then you say, ah, I'm going to change it to $11 because my customers are still buying my product. So $11. Um, and then some customers start saying, mm, these clothes are not different from the ones that were $10. Why are we paying? eleven dollars now so that is customer pushback when they when your customers start to think that the price that you are increasing is too much the increase of your price is too much and maybe they go and buy from the competition okay because your price is now too much thank you teacher now clear it's like the opinion of the client I'll admit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
when you start increasing your prices without paying attention to what the customers say or think, then you get customer pushback, okay? Because they, let's say in, in other words, they protest about the prices, right? And the way they protest is that they go to the competition that probably has a lower price and the same quality. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so this is everything that we have discussed so far is from the video, right? The video that we were watching. Now we're going to go and check um, our manual. In our manual, we have a conversation. So let's go to our manual and check the conversation. Okay, Danny, can you help me read this instruction, please? What are we going to do here? Okay, teacher. Antonio and Rene are talking about modifying the product and price for their headphones. Read the conversion and take to practicing it. Okay, so in this case, uh, the, uh, the the product is headphones, right? This, these guys are selling headphones, uh -huh, and they are discussing the strategy for changing the price, right? Okay, um, well, let's look at some models. Let's, let's, um, Check who is going to be our model for this conversation. Um, how about, okay, Mauricio and Leticia. Okay, teacher. Okay. You start, Mauricio, please. Okay, teacher. The competition just released a clone of our health forms. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do, what do we do? Okay. We could, we could, we could renew, renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough to that so that people can recon, recognize it, then easily we can also try with an Albert, Albert Science company. Okay. Campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, renewing the look and packaging will take months. In an advertising campaign, it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. the, the best thing we can do is to change our pricing as a strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors release of their product. Okay, great. Well, let's check some pronunciation or some words for for you guys to practice. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the first one would be um, okay. Renew, renew. Let's practice the word renew. Renew. Mm -hmm. renew. Very good. Then recognize, recognize, recognize. recognize. Mm -hmm. Recognize them easily. 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 Yes. Then we have advertising. Advertising. Campaign. 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 Mm -hmm. Next, we have renewing. 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 Packaging. Packaging. Okay, let's see what else. A counter. Help us counter. 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 Mm -hmm. 
our competitors' release of their products. Okay, um, now let's analyze the vocabulary from this conversation because later I'm going to ask you to, well, you will have the time to practice the conversation with your classmate, but also I need you to um, change it to a different product, okay? And of course, the strategy will need to change, right? Because it's a different product. Um, so right now, let's pay attention to the vocabulary, okay? So for example, clone. What would be a synonym of clone? The competition just released a clone of our health two. one. It's two. No. Cream. Aha. Uh -huh. What is a clone? Twins. Twins. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, we could say we could say. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to share it with you here in the chat. Twins. Okay. So basically uh, uh, the second. A replica. Aha. Uh -huh. Danny? Um, el sinónimo is second. El segundo is second. Aha, uh -huh. yes. A copy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, uh, let's see. They're attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. Okay, the word positioning. What do you think it means? Make us lose positioning in the market. Positioning. Uh -huh. mm, level. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you here this, this kind of definition. Positioning is like your reputation, okay? People's, in this case, customers, opinions. Customers, opinions of your product. Okay. Okay, let's see another example. Um, okay, renew, renew. It's renovate. Renovate, okay, renovate, yes. Renew, renovate. Please take notes of the vocabulary, right? Because we, we are going to use them later on. Okay, let's see. Advertising, campaign, packaging, we know that. Um, strategy. Okay, counter. I think this is the last word we have. Counter. It says it's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their product. Counter our, our competitors' release. Okay, someone who can share the their definition for counter? Uh, is co-branding? No. Mm, no, no. In this case, it's different. In this case, it's like face or deal with. Face. I don't know if you remember this phrase, deal with. We had it in a different 
conversation. Okay. It's actually face, face. Me faltó la e. Face. Face, okay? Or confront a situation. Deal with the situation. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, at least these are the words that I found could be uh, new for you guys. Okay, so I don't know if there is anything else that we need to check from the conversation, the vocabulary. Is there anything else? Uh... I don't know. Let's see. Um, Gilberto, Mauricio, Julio, Leticia. Is everything else clear for you in terms of vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. For me, yes, everything is clear. Excellent. Okay, so now I'm going to give you some time for you to work together with a partner. And okay, number one, we're going to practice the conversation, okay? Number two, we're going to create a new conversation with a different product. In this case, they are talking about health phones. You can talk about I don't know, uh, cookies, uh, shirts, um, motorcycles, uh, whatever, any, any other product, okay? Uh, and uh, use similar ideas, okay? Similar ideas to the ones in this conversation in order to discuss uh, pricing strategies, okay? Um, take ideas from the conversation to create your own and discuss pricing strategies, right? There is a company that has copied your product and now like what are the characteristics of the product and how you are going to counter the competitor's release of their product, okay? What is the strategy that you would use? Okay, so these are the two things we're going to do. Practice this conversation, create a new one with a new product and with similar ideas in terms of uh, discussing uh, your strategy on how to counter, counter sorry, the competitor's release of the product. Okay, so let's put you into breakout rooms. There are very few people today, so let me see. People who are participating are very few. So let's see. Okay. Okay, in this group we're going to have three of you because. Okay, so, well, initially let's take five minutes to practice and start thinking about the new conversation. And then I'm going to be checking how you guys are progressing and giving you more time if you need to. Okay, so I'll see you in your room, okay?
Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Good <laughs> moment, teacher. I take a picture. Ah, okay. I, I am taking a picture. You don't have your manual downloaded? ¿Qué pasó? No me han descargado el manual. Uh, I have a printed oh. picture. <laughs> You oh, have okay. a printed one. Ah, okay. Okay. The Gilberto tell me about the 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 Okay, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna share the conversation in the chat. Okay. Uh, uh, para tomar la foto. Vaya, ya se la voy a compartir en el en el grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. okay. Give me one second. Ah, Gilberto is sharing. Gilberto. Ah. <laughs> Yesterday about uh, talked wow. about that. The ah, you had some brother. Okay, good. Okay. Well, now you have it. Let's practice. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Oh, she got the monogus. <laughs> you um, are or me. Okay. Solo que está un poquito borrosa, pero bien. <laughs> Let me. Okay. Um, the first, the competition. You realized a clump of our headphones. They are attra attractive enough to make use log positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew, renew the look of the hair pumps. Let's make them colorful enough. Okay, our pricing. Uh, our pricing strategy, it is fashion now to help as constant our competitor release of their products. Okay. Change, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, change, okay. Voy, voy a empezar ahora. Okay. The competition, so... the competition, you release a clone of our here from they are attractive enough to make us a lost position in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize, recognize them easily. Easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take rem will take months. An advertising campaign is too expensive. Renewing the look and packaging will take months. And an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change. Our pricing strategy, it is fast enough to help as continent competitor release of their products. Okay, excellent. And uh, they change the product. Uh, okay. What recommend you? Uh, 
I don't know which products we can work. Uh, do you have uh, any product? Fíjese que yo vendo. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Israel. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm late. I know, but I was, <laughs> I still working. Okay, okay. Uh, let me add you to a team because right now they are working in teams, okay? Let me see. I think you would like to work with, with the gentleman. Let's see. Hello, hello, Mauricio and Gilberto. I'm going to add a Israel to your team. Uh, perfect, teacher. He just joined us. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Lin Sex dice Flax. Me aparecen unas traducciones ahí. Linaza. Uh, sí, a mí me parece como Linaza, don Gilberto. Sí. Le, le parece, parece como otro una nombre. traducción de flax o linsec. Is that what you're talking your product? Yes. En otra flax me seeds. parece flax sí. Flax uh -huh. seeds. Flax seeds. Yes, that's the the that's name of flax seeds. In English, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the last mm -hmm. okay, okay, Israel is with us now. So they are they are uh, choosing a product a product to create a conversation similar to the one we have um, on page nineteen. We share the conversation in the chat, Israel. So go ahead and join, please. I'll see you later. Okay, thank you. Hello, how are we doing? Hi. Hi. Oh, hi, teacher. Did you finish practicing? Yes. Yes. Okay. We created the conversation. Oh, you are creating the conversation. Okay. And what is your product? Uh, I think the Chocobito. But oh. Maria mm -hmm. Leticia thinks other product. Ah, okay. So you need to decide. Yes. Yes. Okay. And ahorita estamos como en el inicio de la conversación, como el saludo, qué está pasando. Ajá. Entonces, pero necesitamos decidir sobre el producto. <laughs> What is your product? What is your um, proposal? Maria Leticia, what is the product that you are proposing? Uh, yo decía una licuadora, pero no sé. <laughs> okay. No sé. Well, I guess it has, it, it can be, it needs to be something that you know, for example, Uh, what do you know more about? Do you know more about uh, blenders, licuadoras, or do you know more about chocobitos, candies? Because remember that here we need to think about, okay, for example, if I'm talking about blenders, I need to say, ah, okay, um, the, um, this company has 
a clone of our blender, right? So what is a strategy in terms of price that we can use to counter our competitor's a product, okay? So you can say, I don't know, for example, um, you can, I don't know, combine blenders that have different characteristics and have promotions, I don't know, but the way you, I mean, the product needs to be a, something that you know about. So you can say, okay, this product has these characteristics and, th and that is why we are uh, promoting this kind of price because, you know, so remember that when you think about price, you need to give the customer a give value, value. Remember in the video we watched, talk about value, right? from your product to the customer. So, I don't know, what do you know more about? Blenders or candy? <laughs> that is your decision, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. En lo que decidimos, iba poniendo como ideas principales. Luego ponemos y candy, candy, candy? Candy, ajá. Uh -huh. Candy so, or blender. Candy, because Chocobito, Chocobito is, candy. Chocobito <laughs> candy is a is a brand, I think. The Chocobito, así se llama. Oh yeah, Chocobito. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll leave you to decide, and I'm gonna go check another group, but I'll be right back, okay? To check how you're doing with your conversation, okay? Thank okay. you. Antonio, you said you say, uh, your aunt were René. Okay. ¿Cómo así? Um, uh, I voy a, voy a agregarle palabras a, a Antonio and aunt were to René first for my conversation. Okay. Uh, Según la de ideas que okay, hablamos. Ok. The competition you release a clone de nuestro typical food. Uh, they are attractive enough uh, with the mixed typical food in the uh, market Santa Ana. Uh, it makes us a lot position uh, in the place, uh, what do we do? We could, we need the look of the presentation of typical food or a snack, or typical snacks. Let's make them color a package. Power and no. Enough? Oh, sorry, what, Danny? No, no, no. <laughs> I think, I think. Okay. So that people can recognize them easily because the color is more um, awesome. I like. We can also try with the advertising campaign. Ah, okay. Uh, renewing the favor uh renewing the look um the the big the
que miremos la conversación y complementemos la sentencia. Ese. Las oraciones abajo. Sí. Ah, entonces, eh, bueno. El, eh, el, eh, indique el number one. They are attractive and now. They are attractive. The number one. Yes. Okay. Aquí se refiere suficientemente atractivo, ¿verdad? Ajá. To make just this ground in the market. Sí, esa, bueno, esa última parte casi no la no, no lo observo bien. ¿Cuál dice usted? Donde están las, las preguntas. Ah. Pero okay. creo que la teacher la compartió también. Okay. Let me let me share okay. it again. Because I sí. shared only the conversation. Give me a second. Ah, uh, only conversation. Aha, uh -huh, but I can share the whole thing. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. Did you create your conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. We have to answer the questions below, teacher. Uh, mm, no. I didn't say I didn't say it, but you can do it. It's okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Continuamos practicando la conversación, don Mauricio. Ah, perfecto. Comienza usted nuevamente. Oh, Excelente. No sé si... Está bien. The competition just released a clone of our flexit. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We call right now the looks our flexi. Let's make it the color and now so that people can recognize them easy. Ay. Teacher. Hello. Es que nos cierra cada rato, fíjate. Ya quedamos buscando la página. Bueno, quedamos buscando todo el mundo. ¿El qué? ¿El qué se quedan buscando? Es que fíjese que se nos pone en negro la pantalla. Por ejemplo, estamos escribiendo y a la nada se pone en negro la pantalla. Ah, qué raro. Ajá, y después nosotros, ¿y dónde está el documento? <laughs> But you have advanced a lot since I was here before. Mm -hmm. I think, pero no sabemos si está bien. Uh, let's see. Okay, este... yes. Mm -hmm. Está bien. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Create for people who have problems with calories. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. This part, the last part, I, I don't think is so clear. Uh, okay. Create for people who have problems with calories. And to whom the more calories you have, the better. Esto sí está, no, no. No tiene sentido, ¿verdad? 
Uh -huh. No sé, ¿qué quieren decir ustedes? Eh, quiero decir de que hay personas como, son dulces, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces hay personas que no consumen porque se cuidan mucho de las calorías. Entonces crear dos líneas, una que uh -huh. sea como para las personas que sí se cuidan y otra que sea para las personas que mientras más calorías tenga, pues no importa, o es mejor, o no sé. No, aquí no supe cómo escribirlo. Ah, ok, ok. So we can say, I think that we can improve the design of our candies. We can create one, one kind. Mm -hmm. We can create one kind for people who have problems, maybe have problems okay. to general. We can say for people who need, for people who need um, fewer cal calories, fewer calories. And another one for people who need more calories. And another one for people who need more calories. For people who need? Who need more calories. More calories. Like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. People who, who need? Mm, who? Who is W-H-O. Así como está ahí, pero aquí, aquí lo puse. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Quisiera decir que es que no me, no, pero es que me confundí. <laughs> ok, great. We're almost, almost done, right? Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. We can create it. Kind está bien así, um, Kind for people, así. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Moreover, uh, aquí sería. ¿Qué más? <laughs> um, offered. We can offer. promotion I know say okay and now Le now Leticia you're like okay what kind of promotion your mm -hmm. the bars with um uh, like her percentage and sh the sugar or sugar <laughs> sugar Sugar. <laughs> sugar, pero no, no el otro sugar. <laughs> ok. Pero, y, y, Así vamos a vender más. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is a promotion that you can include? Mm, probably... Um, I don't know, like if they if if they buy three packages, you can give them one for free or something like that. I guess it could be. So Leticia, that's something uh you are adding over there. Okay, well, let's take one more minute to finish because I think your classmates are almost done. So I was just checking how you ladies are doing and then we are going to go back, okay? Okay. So we'll see you in the main room. Okay.
Okay, everybody, we are here in the main room. I know some of you are excited to share your, your conversation, right, Gabriela? <laughs> I see you're very excited to share your conversation. Okay. <laughs> so, um, well, we have everybody created a new conversation. This is for the listeners, um, just in case you, you are wondering why we were taking so much time. It's because we were practicing the conversation that we have in the manual, but also creating a new one, right? So uh, let's see. Right now, we're going to share the new conversation, okay? So let's start with, let's see. Okay, the gentleman group. We have in this, in this group, there were three people. We had Gilberto, we had Israel, and we had um, Danny. Yes. Teacher. No. Um, teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher, I didn't participate with my uh, my my friends because I was driving, and so I I just hearing their conversation. So I I. I I okay. don't really understand the the hundred percent the the, exam, the the exercise that they were doing. Okay, okay, okay. So Gilberto and Mauricio, right? Mauricio. Okay, go ahead. Let's see what you have. Okay. Okay, you can start, Don Gilberto. Okay, uh, the competition, the competition, you realize a clone of our flaxy, they are attractive and, uh, enough to make a low position in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our flexi. Let's make them col colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the log at packing, packaging will take more an advertising campaign in few expense. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy is fast enough to help us counter our competitors release or their products okay thank you that's all teacher thank you thank you Gilberto thank you Mauricio Teacher, your microphone. Hello, I'm so sorry. Uh, I was giving a speech here. So this is what your classmates were uh, discussing, okay? The product was flax seeds, okay? Um, mostaza, right, in, in Spanish. Flax so seeds. Because, because uh, of this product, I think the first part of the conversation, we could change it a little bit. Because in this case we cannot give we cannot make them more colorful, right? They already have a special like their their original color. So probably in this case it will be more related to uh like 
And also this is a natural product, okay? So it's not like they can create another product, maybe uh, something that you that you make with flax seeds, right? Mm, I don't know, probably when you when you uh, sell the like the powder, the different presentations, right? Powder or original seeds like this one, or I don't know, a flax seeds cookies, flax seeds, um, a beverage, a, or any other product that is made with flax seeds. So that is something to consider when we talk about products, remember? Products are different in this case because we're talking about something natural. It, it needs to be a little bit, the, the conversation in the first part needed to be a little bit um, different, okay? So that is my feedback. Okay, um, let's see now, uh, let's listen to Danny okay. and, and Gabriela, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, are you uh, are you Antonio or Gabi? Okay. Me Antonio. Okay. I am Antonio. Well, the competition just really said a clone or our product like that is a typical food, a snack typical. They are attractive enough to make us lose position in the market in Santa Ana. What do you, what do we do? Uh, we could renew the offer, the product in, in delivery or uh, and page in media and social media uh, of our uh, typical food. Uh, let's make the flavor now so that people can recognize it then easily. We can also three with an uh, advertise campaign. Well, the campaign advertising campaign in the different play in different social media is more expensive and the renew the look it will take the months to oh the the best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy it is a fast now to help us counter our competitors release or their uh, our typical foods. Only teacher. Okay, great. Let's give a clap to Danny and Gabriela. I know that you were trying to be as creative as possible, right, with your product. So um well they have a thank you lady for sharing maria leticia as well thank you um okay you guys use the phrase flavorful right flavorful enough flavorful flavorful enough, flavorful enough. Uh, uh -huh. okay. flavorful. flavorful also okay. you can use the word tasty actually this is more Common, tasty, 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 tasty. Mm -hmm. yes, tasty yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. Let's make them tasty enough. Okay, I, I like the way you change this vocabulary just to match your product because you were talking about food, right? Typical food, so, um, and also in the, in the strategies, I, I could see that you discussed, for example, delivery or social media campaigns, which are uh, things that 
uh, we can use to compete, right? With to counter our competitors' new product, right? So, okay, very good. We are including other uh, vocabulary or other strategies as well. Um, okay, very good. And now we're going to listen to Miss Lady and Miss Maria Leticia. Go ahead. Lady. Voy por ejemplo, me congeló esto. <risa> Ay, sí. Ok. Me asusté por un momento. <risa> Hello, lady. How are you? Hi, María Leticia. I am very worried. Why? Tell me about. The competitors have copied all products. And are selling more than is. What? That is bad news. What do we do? I think that we can improve the design of our candies. We can create it one time for people who need bigger calories. And another one for people who need more calories. Excellent idea. Chocolate bar with a higher percentage of chocolate and with a low amount of sugar are also healthier, preferable 70% chocolate. Yes. Moreover, we can create a discount or price and purchase over $20. For example, yes, I think that our ideas are great. Excellent. Let's do it. Yay! Bravo. Okay, very good. Uh, I like that you changed many of many things from the from the original conversation, right? I mean, you try to follow the 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 idea of the conversation, like the main idea, but uh, you introduced new strategies and um, according to the product, right? In this case, the Chocobitos chocolate or candy. Um, so uh, just one thing, I uh, in this part, people who need fewer, fewer calories, fewer, I, I wrote it here in the chat, Instead of figure is fewer. Probably you oh. you uh when I told you about that, I didn't write it. So fewer. Fewer. Mm -hmm. Fewer calories. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh but yes, uh, we were able to apply the, the different strategies. Um well. I want us to practice, everybody. This is not only for Leticia and Lady, but everybody. I could identify some words that I think we need to practice. So you can either practice with me in the microphone or uh, individually on your own, okay? So I'm going to um, write the words in the chat. Um, let's see, we're gonna start with strategy. I'm sorry. Okay, this is one. Also, this one. <laughs> okay, from the one we had in the conversation, let me see. Um, okay, I think these are, okay, so we start with strategy, 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 mm -hmm. strategy. let's strategy. continue with recognize, 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 recognize. 
Recognize. Recognize. Recognize. Enough. 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 Mm -hmm. Enough. Enough. Release. 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 Okay, very good. Well, um, so these are all the conversations. There were only three groups this time. Um, and well, I hope um, the practice helps us put into context vocabulary, new vocabulary, as well as practice uh, some pronunciation, right? Um, okay, let me share quickly here. Okay, in our um, manual, we had this uh, activity. So we're gonna do it together quickly before time is over. Okay, in this case, it's about the conversation. So look at the conversation and complete the sentences below. Number one, <coughs> they are, Okay, let's see. They are attractive. Enough. Okay, attractive enough, right? Attractive, attractive. enough. Mm -hmm. Attractive enough. Very good. Uh, number two, let's make them. Let's make them colorful, colorful enough. enough. Colorful enough. Mm -hmm. no. Colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. So this is their strategy, right? To make the headphones colorful enough. Number three, um, it's fast, fast, it's fast enough. Uh -huh, fast enough to help fast us counter. Enough. Yes, fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their content or competition. Competitors. 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 Mm -hmm. Competitors. Competitors. Yes. Okay, very well. Now, tomorrow we're going to uh, focus on these phrases that you see highlighted or in bold when we use enough after the, the adjective. Okay, so we're going to check that tomorrow. Well, uh, for today, that's it. Um, we're going to finish here our content. I don't know if there is any question related to the vocabulary or the pronunciation. In the meantime, I'm going to start checking our last attendance of the day. Any question? Uh, uh... One question, teacher, is a uh, advertising campaign is a uh, marketing campaign. Uh, yes, yes, I would say is similar, but probably advertising um to is I mean marketing could be something more general, something more something bigger, but advertising is a um, mostly about uh, promoting the product, right? Like creating ads in social media, creating ads in in the internet, the web, or um, television, radio. So it could be, marketing could be more general, more than advertising. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to share here the link to a, to an article so you can uh, check it and maybe tomorrow you can share some other vocabulary that you yeah, that you could see in the article. Okay, so I, I left it in the chat for you to check. Okay, now let's check attendance before we leave. And... Dani, Dani Anthony, si buena aventura. Good teacher. Okay. Eh, Gilberto Benito, Santa María Ríos. 
Present teacher. Ok, José Andrés Martínez Pérez is a listener today. Um, José Israel Martínez Rodríguez. Ok. Sure, present, present. <laughs> Julio Aristides Paz Rivas is a listener or not? <laughs> Lady is laughing at you, Israel. Um, Luis Rodrigo Morán. Sorry, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Uh, I guess he's a listener. Let's see if he's still here. No, not here right now. Um, Maria Leticia Realejeño González. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Present teacher. Um, Rebeca Maria Cardona Juárez, not here today. Eh, Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Uh, I think he left already. Eh, um, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. He's a listener. Sofía Karina Crespo Ramírez. She's not here today. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Me teacher. Sí, no me mencionó. <laughs> Really? Para estarme burlando. Hey, Joana Hernández Ventura. El karma. Yes. Ok, everybody. Ok, take care. Have a good evening. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye.